What's going on world? Brand new episode of Open the Box there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here in Miami with my guy George, AKA Jorge. What's going on, man? How's it going, bro? Oh. Appreciate you guys coming through. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now, Jorge is killing me right now with what's on his feet. <laughs> I've worn them already like five times. Yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna get into daily, but one of the things I want people to know is this is like a diamond in the rough in the Miami area because you guys pride yourselves on what? Low prices, definitely low prices. And it's crazy enough that it we post crazy prices every day. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense, the name. Now, for example, we have these LeBrons here, which you could find these on Flight um, Club and... Goat has them, brand new. I think they're like 1200. Right, and you guys are selling them for... 525, super low price every day, every day. <laughs> so that's just a thing, that's just a hint at what's in here and, and the prices you guys yeah. have. So let's start over here, actually, because we're gonna go around the mm -hmm. entire store. All right, so here we have our brand new shoes. So anything DS is gonna go on this wall, you're gonna notice the items are wrapped up. That way, you know, there's people that come through, we can't control what they've been doing, what they've been eating, what they've been touching. So <laughs> we don't want our new shoes to get dirty. The used shoes, depending on what it is, we'll wrap it. So as far as like some of the, uh, the new shoes, right? This is brand mm -hmm. new shoes. Show uh, your theme here. You, you said low prices. Give me five shoes that people can look at and be like, mm -hmm. wow, they're selling them for that price? Mocha 3, 145. Cool Grade 4, uh, 180. And that's that this shoe is consigned. Mm -hmm. So imagine, I think the cheapest you could get this shoe on stock is maybe like two. And then plus the shipping, so it comes up to like 215. This is a clay green one, mm -hmm. 295. This shoe wow. blew up in price for some odd reason. Like in, in a size 10, it's like 450, 400 bucks. Size 11 is probably like 325. Again, we have it for 295, brand new. I'll pick this out. Anniversary four, <laughs> brand new. What do you think the price is? Well, I saw it, but. 175, 175, <laughs> brand new. But yeah, man, that, that's her thing. Uh, I could keep going here. This is a PSG 6, nothing crazy, 215. Average price on this shoe is probably like 230 right now, yeah. 240. So it's kind of crazy that we have low prices because uh, like I told you, consignment stores, they just have a rep of having high prices. Mm -hmm. They also have a rep of just like, yo, buy this, yeah. get out of my store. You know, yeah. for us here, it's kind of different. I feel like the community looks at us like the locals. We're, we, I was born and raised here. And my business partner's been living here for like 10 years now. So we connect more with the locals, I feel like, than these other stores down here, mainly because they're like that, you know? Why is it that low? Why are the prices that low? When we started, we were a website and me and my business partner didn't have money. Mm -hmm. So he put in a thousand, I put in a thousand. Uh, the craziest thing about it was not that we started with two grand, but the fact that we did not know each other. And one day Squirrel hit me up like, hey, I have this you know, business idea I wanna run by you. I meet up with him and he tells me he wants to do an online sneaker like consignment shop. And I was like, oh, that's, I love sneakers, I'll do that. Went full head in since then. You know, I've trusted everything that he said. I feel like obviously he trusts what I say and um, we've been able to build since then. Yes. Describe this area, cause it's right next to Wynwood. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, um, Wynwood is a very bustling place right now. Yes, but yes. tell me about this area and how it's, you know, in close proximity to pretty much everything. Down here you have South Beach, which is great for tourism. You could hit people over the head over there if you choose so. Um, or if you sell stuff cheap, I feel like people will gobble it up because they're not used to that. They're used to getting taxed. We're like, okay, we need something that NBA players will pull up to. NFL players would pull up to. There was a concert, it's kind of like a music festival. It's not a, it's not a concert at all, it's a music festival. It's called Rolling Loud. All the artists are sitting right here in Miami the whole entire weekend. And they're looking for stuff like this. They're looking for Supreme, they're looking for Babe. Now when they go to these other stores, they're getting killed. Shopping in New York, in LA. So we've always felt like, man, if they, if they just come through our store, they'll, they'll probably destroy our racks, take everything in sight. So we found this place, we're like, okay, this is a location that if we move to, the notoriety will go up, Great. people will take us more serious. But our old spot had like four parking spots, yet five employees that drove every day. So you do the math on that. We made it work, man, we made it work. People went out there because of the inventory, because of the prices. We were the first store in Miami to offer a vast variety of Supreme, 
and it was like, yo, come to the only store in South Florida that has Supreme. And then that kind of took us to another level. Now let's go down. You were just over there with the brand new mm -hmm. shoes. These are So this our... here is our lightly used or used beaters maybe you okay. might even find in there <laughs> but yeah anything used it'll go on this side okay starting uh, down here with the jordan ones and then it scales up by model right right right. then All on the, the top top it. top we have like a bunch of classic air force ones from back in the day maybe from like 2004 through 07 or so and we just put them up there because those don't really get shopped as much then you start seeing like the nikes also the air maxes they don't get shopped as much Ooh. some adidas pharrell's up there and then we have like our hype shelf so it's gonna have anything like off-white. You're also gonna have like Atmoses, these are dope. Some Supreme collabs, of course, you gotta have that. And then everyone's favorite. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, uh, you gotta have this shoe, bro. <laughs> this shoe is like hot cakes on a Sunday, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna sell, sometimes no matter the price, no matter the condition, we have consigners put the shoe up and we're like, come on, man. People yeah. are gonna get on us about the price. Yeah. Sure enough, 10 minutes later, Someone comes in, I need that. Yeah. Like, oh. Round out a top five for me. That that's one. Give me top five four more what? that top people five. like really shop here. Oh, like a hot seller? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's Besides definitely that one. one of them. Uh -huh. Um I don't want to pick out a single Yeezy, so let's just put all the all 350s, okay. you know, that's all two. the 700s. That's yeah. two. These things. These things, bro. We maybe have just this one pair. Yeah. It's up for a <laughs> thousand seventy-five. It's a ten and a half, it's consigned probably been here for like a few days it's gonna sell for sure within a week yeah. that's a hot seller um shoe wise hmm. any jordan one let's just put that mm -hmm. in there and then of course anything this guy does right here oh yeah it just seems <laughs> to all of these fly off the, the shelves we have a few more uh brand new off-white ones there too the mcas do really well but it's just harder to get pairs in of right. those yeah as consistently as we get jordan ones or the jordan retros that we have for like 110 bucks worn a few times yet brand new they're yeah. 300 bucks so people enjoy those prices and they're able to sometimes instead of getting one shoe they'll leave with like two or three yeah. and that's that's what we want you know we want more stuff gone and we want people to like share the price oh my god i can't believe i paid that yeah. All right, Alex, uh, my guy Jorge gave us yes, a rundown sir. on the sneakers and, and what you guys have going on, but you guys are much more than, than sneakers, right? A lot what else more do you sneakers. guys have? So we also have accessories and clothing, which is, you know, I would say just as much quantity and clothing as we have sneakers. Um, this is one of our accessory um, cases. We have another one in the front of the store. Um, over here, you can find pretty much anything from Supreme, Off-White, um, we even have a Cause Hennessy bottle. Pretty much anything you can't find in the stores, man. Um, I know the Supreme accessories, there's so many crazy varieties of stuff. What, what would you say so, is a, the hi most hype item in here? One of the most hyped items I would say is probably one of these little Kermit um, okay. toys, yeah. which is such a small little toy, but it's such a rare piece. And that's why the price is significant. You know, we even have, you know, any, anything from Cause right now is hot. Yeah, we have rare. the Cause Dior wallets. Um, what about rare? Rare? Yeah. Um, all the old Supreme accessories, man. <laughs> you don't see this baseballs anymore, the, this baseball bat. Um, the, kind of the new stuff, you kind of see them more uh, production-wise, a little more, but as far as clothing, you know, we have the Savasi Boss logo, which is uh, somewhat rare, just more pricey than rare, if anything. Yeah, exactly. Same thing with all this. It's kind of like our hype section when it comes to Supreme. Um, I heard George talking about the shoe section. We also have it like that in, in, um, in clothing where, you know, the new stuff is going to be bagged up. Some of the used stuff is going to be outside of bags, you know? Okay. For the most part, we have some used stuff that are pricey items that are just bagged up, you know? And then everything is um, categorized yeah. as much as we can. Mm -hmm. So we have U Supreme here, all color coordinated, sizes are mixed in. And then we have uh, Bape jackets and Supreme jackets. Here we have Supreme shirts, all t-shirts and all by size. So we got medium, we got large, we got XL. Wow. Okay. Over here, this is all brand new bait. And we try to keep it as organized as possible. So here we have like all the calls, Uniqlo stuff, and Travis Scott um, merch stuff. Pretty much anything that's hot at the moment. You yeah. know? What's, Obviously, what's flying the most right now? Travis Scott merch, man. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. It's crazy what, how, how Travis Scott has opened up an entire market for his merch, bro. Mm -hmm. Insane. Mm -hmm. 
And same thing with cause, man. You know, yeah. these Uniqlo cause t-shirts, it's because of the price points too. Mm -hmm. Price points are a little more affordable. You know, you're talking about the 40, 50 dollar range, which is a little more realistic than dropping 100 or 200 bucks on t-shirt. Right, right. Um, so definitely that's flying. And then in the front, we have like our little miscellaneous section, cactus plant, you know, off-white, stuff that we don't really have a lot of, so we just try to put it all together. And this area right here. Uh, so this is another accessory uh, case that we have. Okay. It's more for the bigger accessories. Here you're gonna find a few of the cause toys, cause plushes. Um, we have a few bare bricks, which I didn't even mention for our cause, um, for our accessories. I would definitely say the rarest accessories we have will probably be over here. So we got the Snow White Supreme deck, we got this Kermit deck. You do not see these at all, even the box logo decks. Yeah. So the prices are a little higher on that, but it's more about you cannot find this. There's no actual market for this. So I've seen people ask back 500 to, you're talking about 1200, $1,500 for a, a deck, mm -hmm. you know? Can you think of a few items that you guys had that obviously are not here anymore um, that are super rare? As far yeah. as shoes wise, you know, we've had it. We've, we've had a bunch, man. Um, you're talking about, all the easy ones, easy twos, even the, the LV Yeezys, like the Jaspers and the Dons, we had a few of those that have sold. Um, even from rare Jordans, you know what I mean? The whole Dornbecker line, the bins, all that stuff. Um, things come and go so much here, so fast here, yeah. so it's hard to keep up. But you're talking about it's a constant cycle, and that's the beauty of it. Yeah. You, I never know, even me, you know, yeah. here that I'm here like almost every day. You never know. I what never know what's gonna come through that door. Yeah. Now, Alice, let's get into your role a little bit with uh, Daily. Uh, Jorge said you're the newest member on the yes. team. Uh, what do you bring to the Daily team? What do you bring bring to the roster? Like anyone else that's part of the Daily team, yeah. I feel like it's just our personality, our knowledge into, into the items, you know, and just our care for our customers, man. Um, so I was added on two years ago. I used to always uh, be in touch with Jonathan and George. Um, we used to actually table together at sneaker events. That's kind of how I met them. And even then, before, before I actually became a business partner, I was a consigner myself. Okay. And a customer, yeah. you know? I would yeah. come here and consign and, and, and buy stuff off of them all the time. So we still always kept that relationship. And then, luckily for this beautiful store, that's when I came on board and, and obviously became an owner as well. Pretty much our roles here in, in the store is everything. Everything, yeah. We do consignment, we do buybacks, we do legit checks. You know, we price things out, so it's kind of knowing the market. Well, there you have it, folks, Daily MIA. Uh, Alex, tell people where they can find you guys, a website, uh, social media handles. Definitely our Instagram. Like we mentioned before, we get so much stuff in every single day. We post everything on our story the second we get it, at Daily MIA on Instagram. Our website is also dailymia.com, and physical address is 2852 Northwest 7th Ave. Right. Uh, 33127. Right down the street from Winwood. Right down the street from right Winwood. Right in the mix of, of graffiti, everything. Yeah, you're talking about in the middle of Brickle, Winwood, downtown, everything's like a 10 minute drive. Yeah. And right off the highway, so it's even right. easier to get here. Yeah. Well, salute to you and the team, man. I appreciate you, Alex. Hey, pleasure for you guys, man. For Thank sure, you guys man. so much. Stay tuned for more Open the Box episodes. Until next time, your host, George Kill. Our customer service uh, is a lot different from other stores uh, that I personally have been to. It's more of a family vibe, more of an actual connection, uh, more of a local connection also. Not only do we know about the stuff that we sell, you know, we're knowledgeable, but we also, we like to make everybody feel comfortable. So that's, that's a big difference for me. Actually, this whole thing started with literally me and a stranger. I literally didn't even know uh, George at all. I think it was probably like in 2013. There was a few releases that were coming out, I think the Royals and some other shoes, and, and I joined them for a camp out and, you know, we kind of like built our friendship from there. And then from there, it pretty much started, hey, I had an idea to maybe sell shoes or do consignment because the only store down here at the time was ATC down on the beach. And uh, from there, it just grew. I ended up taking care of all the uh, website stuff and PayPal and setting everything up. And then we started consigning shoes for friends of ours, which is how we started literally probably like four pairs of shoes and some shoes that were his. We had the website going for a few months. You know, something just fell in our lap and we were able to open up a small store. It was literally just, if you look at this store, probably like one fifteenth of this store. It's very, very, it was really small. It's like a closet and uh, we made it work, man. We literally just gathered up as much consignment stuff as we could. It was slow, very slow process, but we believed in it and we were there every day, literally every single day we were in that store. We just started uh, getting people to come to the store and sell to us. So that's how a lot of our clientele started building from there. Cause we literally had to outsource everything and then started coming in store. So from that, we were able to build and build and build. People found out we were buying. Little by little, we grew the store. So the store grew from a really, really small area to double and then triple. A couple years passed by, you know, 20, 2018 uh, November. 
we moved over here and uh yeah we've been here a little over a year and maybe a few months ago we had uh the idea of continuing vintage which is something we used to sell in our other store in a much smaller scale but we uh, ended up opening up a vintage store here that was presented to us called yesterday it's right through there if you guys want to come check it out